Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a special cooking video for you guys. I am going to bake one of my favorite cake. It is the Berry Napoleon cake. Um, the first time I had it, it was in New York. Um, there is a very famous bakery named Mother's Country Bakery. Every time I head to uh, Williamsburg, I would get a piece of the Berry Napoleon there. This is a very yummy, delicious cake because the cream is very light and the sweetness is just the right level that I um, prefer it to be. If you ever travel to New York, I definitely recommend you to try out this cake. Another reason why that I am baking this cake, besides the fact that I really love it, is that it's my boyfriend's birthday today. So I will be <laughs> baking him my favorite cake. Yes, my favorite cake. <laughs> The recipe for this cake is fairly simple. First, we will make the cream custard. Then, we are going to bake the pastry sheet. The last step is to put them together. We'll start with making the cream custard. Let's first measure the ingredients. 750 gram of milk, 150 gram of sugar, 150 gram of eggs, 100 gram of flour, and 75 gram of butter. First, add half of the sugar into the eggs and mix well. The other half of the sugar will be added to the milk. Now, add half of the flour and mix well. Add the other half of the flour and mix well. Continue to mix until there are no more lumps. Heat up the milk in low heat but do not let the milk boil. Add the other half of the sugar and add two and a half spoons of vanilla extracts and mix evenly. Pour half of the milk into the egg flour mixture. Mix for a few minutes and pour back into the milk. Continuously swirl in low heat until the milk thickens. This is going to take at least 10 minutes and also some arm exercises. Now, the cream is thickened and it smells amazing. I continue to swirl the cream for another 6 minutes. Transfer the cream into another container. Cover the top with plastic film and cool at room temperature. And now I have 
some sugar here. These are powdered sugar. I think you could also just use regular sugar, but I think this may be easier for me. So just spray it over. Over the parchment paper and some weight for that. Now I need to bake at 338 Fahrenheit for another 20 minutes. So the pastry sheet is baking in the oven now for. The next thing that I need to do is to beat this custard. It would be nicer if I have like those uh, digital beater, but I only have a whisk. So I am going to try to make this happen. It's going to be a lot of hard <laughs> work. Let's see. Even if it doesn't work, it still tastes good already. It's just that it's not as light as I want it to be. I feel like if I have that machine, the texture would taste even lighter. Now that we have some time, I am going to wash the berries. I will be using raspberries, strawberry, and some blueberries. Um, in the original version in our mother's bakery, they also included some blackberries. But I feel like I have enough berries here that I don't think I could finish. So that's why I uh, left that one out. First thing I want to do is to use a uh, Reggie wash to wash these berries because as you know, there are some things that we cannot see on the surface of these berries. So it's best to be safe and wash these berries as clean as possible. 